part of being a part of the truth. Okay, like I was talking about these old geezers that now I'm popping back on the scene. Yeah, talking okay. about how we should speak the word of the Lord in a different way and be more gentle and nice. <laughs> but these are the same individuals that fell out, went back into the world. Okay, so I, so <laughs> if they went back into the world, then their way didn't work. Yeah. All right. So it just goes to prove that what we have to say and what the way that we're doing it, it works. And people are going to listen regardless, even if we curse people out or we may say the f bomb or whatever. Right? People are still going to listen to us. Right. Because there's an aura. There's a there's an aura on us. All right. And the aura begins with the spirit, the Holy Spirit. So once you got the spirit of this world working through you, people are going to listen to you regardless. Yeah. It's lucky. Huh? Go ahead. Coming out of Christianity, all that niceness. For, for the elect I'm talking about, all that yeah. niceness and all that politeness, yeah. it, was all a, it was all a facade anyway. All bullshit, so we see the same thing on the, the same spirit is on these yep. so-called, uh, we call them nice, nice Israelites. Right, right. Same spirit, and we run from them kind of people. The late bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what they are, man. I mean, they, they, were, in, they were in the faith, but you got to call them late bloomers now, because they late in the game. They don't miss, what, 20 years of the truth, right? So I mean, if you've been if you've been without the truth for twenty years, you have no you, you have no uh uh, uh you, this 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 there's no way you shouldn't even have the audacity to come back on the internet <laughs> and talk shit, man, because you don't miss everything. Man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. This is Matthew five and thirteen, and it says, "Ye are the salt of the earth, mm. but if the salt have lost its flavor, wherewith shall it be salted?" Right. If the if the salt have lost its, lost its flavor, what's the worth of the salt? So you all bugged out Negroes, man. You don't lost the flavor, man. You don't give up. You don't give up the truth. So because you don't give up the truth, now you want to come up, come up and say, because really they just they're disgruntled. They're disgruntled because they know that the Lord ain't dealing with them. They know that they're gonna be destroyed. You got these guys talking about, oh, the mark of the beast is something else. The reason why they say the mark of the beast is something else, because damn it, they're gonna take the chip, man. When they backs up against the wall, they're gonna be the ones taking that chip, and they're gonna be destroyed, man. That's what's gonna happen. That's why they say, oh, the ship is an embargo. Oh, it's see with white men. <laughs> that's what these that's what these crazy bug outs are saying. Okay, go ahead. And it says, it is henceforth good for nothing but yeah. to be cast out and to be and to be trodden under foot right. of men. Exactly. They're gonna be cast out, man. Because what's the work for them? They have no work. They have no no uh, no purpose. Okay, once you lose this word, man, I mean, what else can you really do? What else really can you do, man? I mean, I, I mean, I would suggest the guy just off himself, man. Um. All right, because ultimately, when it's all said and done, you're going to be consumed with the lake of fire, and you're going to be doing front strokes and back strokes now. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 16, verse... That's a, that's a thick ball bike, man. Uh, best the Lord, the Lord and says, this woman ready for us, brother. <laughs> 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 it says, verse 14, and it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on hill yep. cannot be hid. Right, exactly, man. Never do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, right. but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Right, so where is the light? The light is the truth, man. And the guys that are these guys, so-called elders that just come up, it says you cannot light a candle and put it under a table, man. So they've had the light, they've had the light all along, man. So where have they been? How come nobody knows them? Right. Okay. Mm. Like who are these Nobody's guys? Man? Seen them, man. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They want some of the glory that the apostles are getting. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Because yeah. they they see the light, man. They see that light. Cause see, I'm glad the brother brought that up because see, when you when you bring the shoe down, there's an aura that comes upon you. Uh -huh. And not only are they seeing the horror that we got, but they also seeing the prophecies play out too. So they, they must know a little, I mean, yeah, they fell out the truth, but they, but they know a little something, something. If they see the prophecies come into play, and all of a sudden they want to pop back on the scene. <coughs> but like I said, man, you done missed 20, 30 years. Uh, you, should I say, uh, you've been without the truth for 20 or 30 years. So really, you done missed everything, man. You done, <laughs> you all the way at the back now. All right, like the shooter says, man, let no man take your crown. The days of you getting your crown is over, man. 
feel like I want them to get a problem. Just shut it, man. Shut, shut the hell up, man. Go on, bro. Uh, Luke 12 and 35, it says, Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Right, and your lights burning. Them, them dudes ain't out there. <laughs> out there in the highways and the bottoms. Yep. They out there in the comfort of their home or where, wherever they at. Whatever funky ass shoe they in, man. The Lord says, man, let your light so shine before all. How do you let your light so shine before all? By coming out here on these broad streets. Where you're alive in color, man, and everybody can see you. Okay, you got jokers that can see you. You got people that have some kind of understanding that can see you. People coming from all backgrounds of life can see you. Tells us in the book of the, uh, what is the, the book of Luke 14 it says, go out in the highways and the hedges and bring them to my house. Talking about, oh yeah, you guys should have did it. You guys should be nice to people with all of this other stuff. That ain't doing the work of the Lord, man. Actually, you going out when you say be nice. Matter of fact, brother, give me Ezekiel two and uh, I think it's uh, two where, where uh, the Lord told Ezekiel, I made your I made your face harder than their face. Yeah, go ahead, brother. It's awesome, right? This is our Proverbs. Okay. Well, Proverbs 8 and 1, and it says, Doth not wisdom cry? Right. And understanding put off her voice? Right. She standeth in the top of the high places. Right. Oh. By, so by the way, like in the places of the paths. Right. So it says she standeth in the high places. What are the high places? We're at. We're in the great city. Now, where we're at, we're in King's Cross. Now, this would be a, what you call a high place. That's why it's named, that's why it's named King's Cross. The cross of the kings. So we're in this region publishing the word of the Lord. So what are you geezers doing out there, man? Talking all this bullshit about, oh, you guys are doing it the wrong way. We're doing it the right way, man. The way you guys are doing it, it's the wrong way. Yeah. So why should we feel some kind of way doing it the way that we're doing it? But we got it all right. All right? <laughs> now we don't feel some kind of way if we're going up. Right. We don't feel no kind of way. I want you to read that again, brother. Brother, for sure. It says Proverbs eight and one, and it says, "Doth not wisdom cry right. and understanding put forth her voice?" Right. So do not wisdom cry and she put forth her voice. Go ahead. She standeth in the top of the high places. Okay. By the way, in the, by the way, in the places of the paths. Right. She cried at the gates. She cried at the gates. Go on. At the entry of the city. Okay. At the coming in at the doors. Right. So in other words, when you go into a gate, you're entering into a city. So we're in we're, we're in the midst of the city. Okay. So in the midst of the city, the men of the Lord should be out here doing the work. Because uh, in the ancient times, mm -hmm. the entrance to the gates were always the busiest places yeah. of the whole city, man. People going in and out constantly. Yeah. That's where uh, they, they are the rulers of the city be at the gate of the city. Yeah. Okay. Um, exactly, brother. That's that's the way to do it, man. Not complaining and moping and bitching about, oh, you guys ain't doing it this way. Come on, man. Really? Is that all you got? Yeah. Come on, you know man. What I mean? Is that, that all? Is that all you got to bring to the table? What are you looking for, brother? I'll make Oh, yeah. I, I think that's in Ezekiel, the second chapter, man, somewhere. What did it say? No, Ezekiel was told from the Lord to, um, he set their face on against their face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, got a, that's in Ezekiel 2, I believe it's verse, uh, 513. I could be wrong on that, though. I think he might, yeah. I'll check as well. Yeah, so read, so read what you got, brother. Because when Paul was on the scene, what was Paul doing? It was said in the scriptures that he was causing riots, man. That's why he had to take certain um, disciples and, and prophets at the time and um, pretty much take them out of the city. Because they were causing hell in the city. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing the right thing, man. The way that we're doing is it's, it's the 100% way to do it. The complete way to do it. You got it, right? Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 9 oh, okay. as an adamant harder than flint um, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 9 as an adamant harder than flint mm -hmm. have I made thy forehead yep. fear them not neither be dismayed at their looks so wait a minute so you're hard as an adamant stone 8 verse start from 8 behold I have made thy face strong against their face right. 
and their forehead strong against their forehead. Right. So how? So in other words, when you come out here, um, that means that you have to be strong. That means you have to be tough on people. That means you gotta cry out loud and spit. It tells you that in Jeremiah 28 and 1, man. Yeah. So these these old old these old old crusty buffoons, they don't know shit, man. Just shut the hell up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm serious too. Come on. Okay? Go on, bro. As an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Right, so them not. Right. So that's what he meant. So if your heart if your heart is an adamant stone, what does that mean? Does that mean Oh no, brother, no uh, sister. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're wearing pants, sister. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're yeah. gonna be put to death. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And, uh, you know, you white people, you know, you are twin brother. Yeah. You know, like he's speaking like he don't want to offend nobody. Right. Now you're supposed to speak bold because you're confident in the Holy Spirit, man. Right, right. You're right. supposed to tell these these women out here with the dealers. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to tell these men out here with the dealers too. And that's why a lot of these guys they say it's okay, can make it. Yeah. Because you want a better response. Then he would give you what you say he won't make it. Right. You know? Come on. Right. You wanna make it feel you want it to be all positive towards you. Okay, so if I repent I can make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know? Right. That's right. why it says in Isaiah 30, but he will be right though. We're gonna get there. Right. Fair enough. Neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Okay. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, mm. receive in thy heart and hear with thine ears. Right, exactly, man. So you're yeah. supposed to come out bold and rough with right, these right. man. All right? We'll stop when the Lord gives us the bread like the stop. Right. But we're not going to listen to some old, old crusty, cool Negro. Let him lost, let him lost the faith, man. To hell with that. These soldiers out here, these soldiers be out shot. Right. Isaiah 62 and 6 and he says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Right, so it says the law set watchmen upon the walls. So what are you doing in a secretive room recording for? Your main recording should be on the street. Go on. O Jerusalem, we shall never hold their peace in no night. Man, read that again. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. We shall never hold their peace so the day or night. Exactly. Read it, read it one more time, brother, because I got to let you read that clear. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O yep. Jerusalem. We shall never hold their peace day or night. Right. Ye that, me ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. Right. <laughs> so, so that's what we do. Ain't that, ain't that what we do? That's what we do, right? Okay, so like I said, we got it all right, man. You got it all right. We just confront y'all because it's just something to talk about, okay? And it's something important to talk about so that others don't get misled. The scripture says that the men of the Lord will post out to the watchmen and they should not hold their peace. They know nothing. So how about that, man? How about them apples? Okay? And that just goes to show you that these dudes don't know the scriptures. They elders, right? They claim elders, but they don't know that person. And it says verse 7, and give him no rest till he till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise Ooh. in the earth. So we're supposed to, so in other words, if we're not praised on the earth, that means we still got work to do. That means we still gotta be shouting out this work, bringing out this word heaven until that happens. So what is an old coon sample Negro trying to be nice with everybody, trying to nice up the doctrine for man? Yeah. They don't say that in there. It says the cry country. Okay, if you're an apostle or, or a disciple of the Lord, you have to do the things that are written. What does it say in, in uh, Romans 16? It says, mark those which cause contrary, that cause the vision contrary to the doctrine, man. That's what it says. It don't say, oh, sit back, cool in the cut, make a recording video, and, and, and move about what you don't like and what you don't see. No. It says to go out and teach the word, man. And then while you're doing that, pretty much get on, guys. Go on, brother. Yeah. It's Isaiah 30 and 20 and it says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity mm. and the waters of affliction, the bread of adversity, go on. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore, Man. But, thine eye, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Right, so you supposed to be out where the people can see, and the way that people can see, not some old hidden closet somewhere or some basement somewhere from hell, but out here on the street. Okay? And we're not going to be removed into any corner. We're going to be remaining on the streets, 
and we're going to proclaim the, what is the acceptable day of the Lord, right, and the redemption of our people, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, until the very end, until this so-called white man and his fucking kingdom is destroyed. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to nice stop no doctrine, man. But these guys, whatever they came from, they, they, they literally removed themselves to the corner, man. Yeah. Scripture said that eyes you see your teachers. Right. The fact that nobody knows who you are. Right. You know, nobody's seen you. You're not teachers, man. Right. You put yourself in a corner. Right. You know? And I'm glad the brother brought it out because that's what they basically did. See, when a, when a guy come into the street and he learns his precepts and he goes back into the world, like the brother said, you push yourself into a corner. So if you truly abound about it, man, you're going to remain in the eyes of people. You're going to be seen, man. Go ahead. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 4. Mm. Now there... Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Hmm. And there are differences of administrations, okay. but the same Lord. Okay. And there are, di there are diversities of operations, yeah. but it is the same power which worketh all in all. Right, it's the same power that worketh all in all. Because not every brother's going to be a prophet. You're going to have brothers going to be helpers and supporters of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's different avenues to this thing. Go ahead. But the same spirit worketh in all. So, but the man manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. To profit with all, man. So you're supposed to give some kind of profit. Uh -huh. Sitting in some secret corner or, or a, a basement somewhere, you ain't you ain't you ain't bringing nothing to the table, man. You're not bringing nothing to the table. Like it says in Matthew 25, it speaks about the uh, the uh, the ten virgins, right? You have the five who are wise and five who are foolish. And it also states in that particular chapter, it speaks about how, why would you put a, a what is it, a, a candle under a bushel? So you got a lot of these guys, they know the truth to a certain degree, but they don't want to bring it out because they're afraid of people or they're afraid of the government. Man, fuck these people and fuck the damn government, man. All right, the law set this government up and the law is going to destroy this government. And that's what we stand on, okay? Yeah. Because the real government which will be established on this earth is the government of Yahweh Shah. We're going to get that real soon. Go ahead, brother. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge right. by the same Spirit, okay. to another faith by the same Spirit, uh -huh. to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, right. to another prophecy, go on. to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, okay. to another the interpretation of tongues. Yeah. But all these worketh that one of the self same spirit, mm -hmm. dividing okay. to every man severally as he will. Right. For order as to the, their order, go on. For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that body one, mm -hmm. being many, are one body, mm -hmm. so also is Yahweh Shai. Right. So we all what he's really saying is we represent the body of who the world called Jesus Christ. Every brother has their position in this truth to play. But the Lord worketh in all. So the Lord is working with you. You're going to produce your works. Not in some corner or some household somewhere chatting crap. Chatting garbage all day. That ain't, that ain't a part of this thing, man. Now you may say the same thing to us that we're chatting shit, but guess what? We're sticking to what's, what's true. What's, we're sticking to that which is of what you call sound doctrine, what the Bible says. All right? I'm going to just leave it at that, man. If you want to read on, read on, brother. For as what, uh, <coughs> verse 13. Mm. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Right, how we're baptized. Give me that in Ephesians, brother. You know, you know what I want. And she's got to keep that. <coughs> so you can get it. We're well, baptized by the word of the Lord. We're not being baptized does not mean dunking your head in some dirty water in the midst of great breath, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Or wherever you at, whatever water you want to dunk your head in, that ain't the, that ain't that ain't what you're supposed to do. The baptism is, per, is parabolic. It's talking about the word because you can actually baptize yourself. You can bathe yourself in water, but you're still gonna be on clean inside. So the true baptism comes by the word. The hearing and the hearing of the, the word of the Lord. Is that Ephesians 5? 
and 26 and he says that he must that he might sanctify and cleanse it and cleanse it so like I said that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word Paul and read it again brother Ephesians 5 and 26 and he says that he must that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word right so the word sanctify means to be holy right so how are we going to become holy by the washing of the word so when a man comes up here of Israelite stock and he hears what he have to say and by faith receives it he's cleansed okay he's cleansed now he's now a brand new man now all he has to do is bring forth his fruit go ahead it says St. John 17 and 17 and it says sanctify them Woo. through thy truth Good thy word. word is truth yep sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth so that's how you receive the true baptism the true baptism comes through the sanctification <coughs> of the word of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. alright so you can dunk your head in water five times a day and claim it to be baptism but if you ain't got this word you ain't sanctified nothing man you're not cleansed you're still filthy so everything reverts back to the word the Holy Spirit that's why it's no, that's why it's known as the Holy Spirit the word holy needs to be cleansed, clean. Go ahead. This is our first Peter 3 and 21, and it says, The like figure we are unto baptism doth already now save us. Okay. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, right. but the answer of a good conscience toward the Most High by the resurrection of Yahweh Shine. Right, so you can have a good conscience. Your conscience is cleared because of the, what is it, you repented. And now you're geared towards the Father's world now. That's baptism right here. You don't get no more baptism than that. Read that one more time, brother. That's a, that's a good scripture right there. That's a powerful, that really hits home the point. It's uh, 1 Peter 3 and 21, and it says, The like figure where unto even baptism you don't already now save us. Okay. Not the putting away of the fruit of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward the Most High. But an answer of a good conscience towards the Most High, Lord. By the resurrection of Yahweh Shai. By the resurrection of Yahweh Shai. So our conscience is clean towards the Most High. That's why it says also in the scripture, it says, all things are pure by the pure. If I'm, ref I'm roughly paraphrasing it. Okay? All things, are, all things are clean unto the pure. But when your mind is the fount of all kind of, all kind of vain philosophy, and demon like, you know, ideologies, you unclean. Regardless whether you baptize yourself five times a day in some dirty ass water, you still unclean. Okay, like these devils kind of camera these strap these shows, but they ain't never gonna be sacrificed. They could be proclaimed Christians as well. But they walking around like they're unclean because they are the Everybody out here is talk about everybody else. Now I will say this and I will be fair. Now you have some people walking around that may very well come into this truth. But we got to deal with the 99.9% .9 is there's a 1% of people that are out there that are, that are, that are decent. Okay, that are, that are right for this truth. But we talking about the 99.9% .9 of these jokers out here, ain't none of them right. No matter if they call themselves Christians or not. Go ahead, brother. Because they don't have a keen conscience towards the most high. Go ahead. This is Psalms 119 and 9, and it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways Ooh. by taking heed thereunto according to thy word. Read that again, brother. Nice and clear, too. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways right. by taking heed thereunto according to thy word. So that's how you cleanse yourself. You get yourself together. That's where the true baptism of bathing comes from. It's where you pretty much get with this word. That's true. Uh, that yes, what the word is saying. According to that word. So like I said, the true baptism is all through the word. The sanctification, the holiness. Because, to um, be cleansed. Go ahead. Go. baptism, it means to be immersed. Right. So you know, if you go in water, you get immersed by the water, right? right. But then you go to the spiritual water, which is the scriptures, man. Yeah. So you get immersed by these scriptures, man. Yeah. Okay. Before you came in the truth, anybody that had the Bible, most likely 
it's like brand new. You run it for years, but it's still brand new. Mm. All the pages are nice and crisp, you know. Because most likely you don't touch your scriptures, you don't really, uh, you don't really dive into it, man. Right. Or when you come into the truth, man. Like I've, I'll have my Bible for like what two years, and it's, it's rough, okay, because of diving into it, man. It's marked, it's rough, you know. There's not 